Hello, it's a pleasure to be here to discuss nuclear verdicts, maturing court inflation for insurers. My name is Gustavo Henrique and I am an actuary from Brazil. Traditionally, the legal environment has been a great area for insurers. This is because the severity of claims affect by the phenomenon known as court inflation, a tendency of course toward classically general compensation to plaintiffs, especially for non-economic damages like pain and suffering over time. Exciting general inflation levels apply to claim related goods and services, such as healthcare costs. In recent years, we have seen the rise of a phenomenon called nuclear verdicts, court decisions that exceeded $10 million and continue to grow. Recent studies show that American juries awarded over $31.3 billion in nuclear verdicts in 2020 following, representing a 116% increase from the previous year. Thermonuclear verdicts that of 100 million or more reached 49 in the past year with five cases surprised $1 billion. These verdicts, which all exceed the reasonable limits, threaten insurance solvents, several damage reputation, and the road to consumer interest. In response, insurers revised the risk portfolio and attempted to adjust pricing to reflect their true loss exposure. However, factors such as public distress of cooperation, third-party litigation fund, non-economic damage expansion, and exponential growth in the rather amount make it increasingly difficult to measure and incorporate these risks into the capacity model. Given this unpredictable environment, a robust framework is required to measure and manage the impacts. Thus, we introduce the CIP, Court Inflation Plan. The plan is structured around three pillars, modeling, mutualism, and governance. In the model pillar, we collect key variables for risk measurement, including value of the judicial claims, separating the contractual portion for the amount added by court deliberation. Insured values bands by line of business to understand which values intervals and insured profiles are associated with higher claims and shows the probabilities. Financial indices applied by courts include price variation indices, interest rates, penalty rates, etc. to understand how courts inflate indemnities beyond contractual limits. Evolution of insurance exposure by line of business analyzing the relationship between indemnity, variation, and new underwriting flow. Loss probability estimation, categorizing legal process as remote, possible, or probable, and assigning percentage range, updating throughout litigation. Accumulating non-economic damages climate, assessing how courts handle non-economic compensation, such as pain, suffering, emotional distress, loss of identity, knowledge, or dignity. These variables with a stress and testing model using the risk underwriting based on the match between collect data and the policy hold profile to find the best pricing. Hence, source extracting find the best contract combination that prepares the story for right values scenario and clan preserving process, calibrating the reserves increasing factors based on the similar case. The mutualism pillar will ensure data robustness through the creation of federate data lake and enable the secure exchange of the list of variables via APIs. Shared data will be anonymous and comply with the local data protection laws. To ensure sustainability, access to the data lake will require mandatory data contribution from all participating insurers. With a shared data set, the market can converge more rapidly and accordingly toward realistic assessment. Finally, in the governance pillar, the system will be overseen by a committee formed by actuarial and insurance representative bodies worldwide. Expert from these groups will ensure implementation and ongoing alignment with local market realities. As an official and socially impactful initiative, the committee will publish a monthly index of current inflation, become a benchmark for insurers and reinsurers in assessing legal risk. The result of this implementation is an insurance market that is more resilient to legal volatility by anticipating judicial shock scenarios and establishing industry-wide response standard. More solvent by adequately calibrating reserves to future commitments using actuarial intelligence and enhancing the reserve method. More specialized by applying models that demystify the unpredictability of legal outcomes in insurance and enable product design tailored to the current litigation profile. And more sustainable as participant insurers demonstrate technical robustness, strengthening competitiveness and reputation in attracting investors and clients alike. It's time to innovate in one of the most traditional domains of insurance dynamics. The court inflation plan is the future.